Hello friends, welcome back to The Colour of Madness. I, I still can't say that in a normal voice. Um, first thing, serious announcement to make. Um, it has come to my attention that in the last episode, I made a song reference that people understood. I know, I apologise, it won't happen again. Anyway, moving on. Uh, well, we've already checked our stagecoach for today. I was so efficient yesterday. I was such an efficient man. Uh, I don't think I want to try it endless again yet, but I mean, the thing is we have four frontliners. <laughs> now we could go two frontliners, Hyoman, Occultist. I think that's a little janky for me right now, so I think we're probably not going to do the endless mode again right now. Um, but I did enjoy it and I will definitely be looking to do it again in the future. So sort by level. And here are our main men. Um, I, I, this has been a problem since the start of the series. Camera placement is kind of an issue with the roster, but there's like no other good place to put it that I feel good about having it, so hopefully it doesn't affect too much. But and there we are. A Demon's Cauldron, the game keeps trying to give me this. This keeps cropping up and I still don't, oh, we found it. We found the thing we're doing today. Oh, it's actually been nerfed. Like, I still think it's good and I'm still gonna go there, but this is, this has been nerfed, but it's still good, but it's been nerfed, but it's still real good. Okay, we're gonna kill the Swine Prince. Um, Swine Prince, pretty easy, pretty easy because you need roughly the same composition you need everywhere else in the Warrens. So you want bleed. You want to be stacking damage on like single targets. You want, you just, you just want to kill it. You just want to kill it. That is all you need to do. You need to kill it and you need to not kill Wilbur and you need to hit, you need someone who can hit the front line. Is, you don't even need that because he fills the front three ranks. So you can use an Arbors. Oh, it's just an easy boss. It's just an easy boss. Um, oh yeah, it's level one. <laughs> uh, we're going to take Jibar. Jibar. Yeah, we're going to take Cursus or Curse. Um, healer-wise, I'm actually okay with an occultist here. I'd rather have a Vestal. Mm. Bulimic's not a problem. I could take a Vestal. This would be another level 3 Vestal. Alright, I'm taking another level 3 Vestal. And I guess we want, like... See, uh, 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 I'm gonna take a Flagellant. Oh yeah, not a level 3 Flagellant. I'm gonna take a level 1 Flagellant. Orain the Core. On encore, on encore. <laughs> it's not really words. This is like, this is a boring composition, but I really want the Blasphemous Vial. So yeah, I think, I think this is like completely fine. Um, you know what, let's mix it up. Let's try out some different skills. Let's actually drop Pistol Shot. We have Duelist Advance, so we can hit everyone but the very back line if we drop Pistol Shot. Um, and you know what, we're going to take Tracking Shot. Yeah, we're going to take Tracking Shot, and we're going to forget to use it, but it's going to be a good time. As far as you want, you don't really want Redeem, I think you'd rather have... Um, oh, you already have Exsanguinate? You can you can be a stress healer, because I, I do not care if you get stressed out. Yeah, we're, we're going to take Endure, we're going to try and make Endure work for us. Suffer... oh yeah. Oh no, you know what, we're not going to take Endure, I apologise, but we are going to take Suffer and we are going to use it because marking is a very core part of this boss fight that we are going to do today. Um, yeah, so he's going to be our tank, he's going to mark himself and then the Swine Prince is basically just going to kill him. So maybe I do want an Occultist healer. Yeah, I think I do want an Occultist healer because that single target healing is going to be real useful. Yeah, I, I actually like that a lot. Um, guard dog? Um, no, I don't think so. I think you take blackjack instead. Target whistles maybe going to be nice. Although he's the only one who really benefits from marking. Point blank shot doesn't benefit from marking. It's only pistol shot, I think. Um, yeah. Yeah? The Swine Prince also doesn't have protection. So you know what? We're actually going to take Cry Havoc. I'm going to take cry havoc because I, I the stress healing is just so good this is fine uh, I don't want sack stab no I do want sack stab because we haven't got blackjack so our home master is fine from rank 4 yeah our, our home master is absolutely fine from rank 4 these mess me up a little bit but I've only got 3 skills selected it's going to drop blackjack 
Yeah, we're going to drop Blackjack. We kind of have to. Um, we'll, we will take Target Whistle. No, we'll take Lick Wounds and Cry Havoc. He's going to be just the world's most boring boy. That's what we're going to do today. And I'm actually, like, completely fine with spending money on this. Hans Harry, yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Hans Harry is correct. Yeah, absolutely correct. So everyone else has got the skills they want, I think. Demon's pull. Oh, we don't we don't want sack stab, sorry. Of course we don't want sack stab. Uh, I'm not too worried about dodge. I Yeah, okay, I will take sack stab. It's uh, yeah, I will take sack stab because our handmaster is in rank four. I'd actually forgotten that I put him in rank four. And then tried to cover for it. I don't know if that was obvious. I don't think it was probably pretty obvious. Um, you want, oh, what's that? Three, five, six, seven. That kind of threw me a little bit. Three, five, six, seven. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just going to upgrade Earth then. This is just worth it. Like, I, I don't expect anyone to die. So I'm okay with losing a little bit of money here. Yes, yes, yes. So we will take the Crystalline Gunpowder. Yeah, the Chirurgeon's Charm. I mean, yeah. I don't want the Quick Draw Charm for a boss. Uh, Feather Crystal's pretty nice. I've been advised to take another look at Mildred's Locket. Because, you know, the Blight Resistance Speed is pretty nice. Yeah, I can see how it's better than Feather Crystal. I still don't know if I want it here, though. Um, Gunslinger's Buckle? I mean, I'm going to be using a lot of melee skills, so I don't think it's worth it. Um, Overture Box? Yeah, my Flagellant's going to be tanking the shit out of everything, so I'm going to take that. Or, well, uh, specifically during the boss. Ah! Yeah, we could take the tough ring. Most of my damage is coming from ranks 1 and 4. Yeah, I'm going to take the tough ring. He's going to be tanking the shit out of everything. 10% prot is really nice to have. 34 HP is obviously lovely for a level 1 mission. Uh, the swine prince, I think is um, human beast, like the rest of the swine. Bleed skill chance? Uh, yeah, but not at the cost of speed. Oh, dude, I just don't know. Oh, we just don't know. Oh, I'll take the Berserk Charm. Yeah, Berserk Charm. Lovely. Lovely to have. We do like it. We like it a lot. That's right. So we want a defensive trinket with the Occultist. Should I just do an entire episode with received pronunciation? I think that would be received very poorly. And also, I'm just not sure I could keep it up. <laughs> That's what she said. Uh, yeah, so defensive trinket. I mean, I guess... Sure, we'll take Mildred's Locket. I do actually like the dodge from Feather Crystal. Um, but the stun and move resist is, yeah, I mean, especially the stun resist loss is pretty bad. Yeah, we'll, we'll take Mildred's Locket. The extra speed is lovely. And, yeah, we may get blighted. I'm not particularly worried about blight. Let's so uh, maybe we do take the bleed stone. The minus one speed is going to kick in occasionally. Maybe like one or two turns over the entire dungeon. We're going to lose out on a turn because of that. I think I think Bleedstone is fine. I think we'll take the Bleedstone. Damage Stone is also not bad for a bit of direct damage, but we don't really need any direct damage. I'll tell you what, I'll tell you what, I'll tell you what. We should check out the Nomad Wagon, see if we've got anything that might come in handy. Because we should kind of, you know, commit at least some of these to memory. Antiquarian, Plague Doctor, Abomination, Occultist... Only really useful for, you know, Eldritch and Husk, though. 15% max HP is nice, but lack of healing received, eh. Lens over the Comet. Don't really need it, I don't think. I'm not, I don't really want to be taking Shard Dust. Yeah, we're going to leave these for now. But I think it's good to keep going, coming back there and figure out what's going on. Or with those. Because there's always the same ones available each week, so it would feel like a, yeah. It'd be a shame to miss out on them, is all I'm saying. Maybe we just... Alright. Okay, I'll take the Feather Crystal. I was going to say maybe we just take the empty slot for an inventory space. But it's going to be a relatively short mission, I think. So Warrens will take two shovels, two herbs, an anti-venom. A bandage, two keys, a holy water. Holy water? I don't think you really need holy water at all here. Um, we're going to take exactly four torches. 
And the reason we're going to do that is because we're going to go not torturous, but we're not going to worry about our torch too much until we get to the boss, and then we're going to go full light. The ways and rituals of blood sacrifice are difficult to master. Those from beyond require a physical vessel if they are to make the crossing into our reality. The timing of the chance is imperative. Without the proper utterances at precise intervals, the process can fail spectacularly. It's a good thing you knew what you were doing then, isn't it, lunchtime? A nameless abomination. A testament to my failures. It must be destroyed. Okay, so the Swine Prince is in one of these two rooms. I've no idea which. I do not believe there is any way to know. But we will find out. I'd rather just open vein, I think. Um, what's the accuracy? 105, 105. I don't want a tracking shot yet, obviously. I'm just gonna open vein. Just gonna kill it. Just gonna kill some stuff, boys. Lovely. I always think Sacrificial Stab moves him forward because of how anxious he looks to really get stuck in there. Thankfully, it does not. This, I mean, I like having these, but <laughs> doesn't really do very much right now. Slowly, gently. Oh, nice, a this ruby and a portrait right off the bat. Taken. Oh, those are both are very nice to have. I mean, I'd like to get some scouting. Maybe we crank up to 100 Torch right here and hope to scout out one of these rooms if we don't get scouting before then. I think that's probably the other way to go. I think I'd rather open vein on that. Need to hit it for 12. No, I'm gonna I'm gonna point blank shot, because we can bleed with our flagellant. Flagellant. Oh. Oh dear, no rest for the wicked. Can we sack stab rank three? We can. And it feels good. Or when we do so. Maintain That's nice. Offensive. You want to hit anyone? Hit the flagellant, but if you don't want to hit him, that is so much better. I'm just looking at Suffer, and I'm like, yeah. Uh, the, more I, the more I see it, the more I like it. The more I like it, the more I see it. I got a need, and I'm wanting to please it. The more Press I the feel is the more I believe it. Give them no quarter. Luckily, no one will ever know that I messed that song lyric up because no one's listened to that song since the Visa commercials at the 2012 Olympics. Um, oh, dude, what was I looking for? Suffer. I just want to make totally sure I know how it works. So it clears the mark target, drops the bleed, drops the blight, puts them on the flagellant, marks himself, which is going to be crucial in the swine prince. Yeah, and the extra death blow resist is lovely. I just like that a lot. Oh, oh, free damage. Yeah. That's about what I'm talking. Also, I completely didn't even realize or didn't even think about the fact that we can camp. If I had, I probably would have camped like here and then come back for it. Because this is just the world's easiest medium mission. You get that in the Warrens. The Warrens do tend to be significantly shorter or, you know, Wealth smaller, denser. Measure. Awarded to the brave and the foolhardy alike. So, um, so Warrens boss missions tend to be like super easy or super short. Come on, okay. We risked it, and we made it happen. Um, so I guess I should camp there, and uh, we do... We do lose the damage buff, but we can get that back with camping skills. Oh um, is it... Uh, 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 words. It actually might be less beneficial to camp right now. We're not stressed. We have one more fight. Let's see how this fight goes, and if we need some stress relief, if we need some healing, then, you know, we can we can come back and camp. But uh, it, it probably is going to turn out to be better just to keep going. Oh! Luckily, this episode is not called 144. 144? Oh, God. Yeah. Yeah. I, <laughs> well, that joke fell flat because I could not think what 48 times 3 was. Oh, that is what we call a callback. Eradicated. Cheers. I'm such a fucking dog. That's right. It's the only time my cat said anything since I started recording, because I fed them before I started recording today. As the so they weren't begging me for food the whole time. This is the first thing she said. 
and his agreement, I am a dog. That's okay. Yeah, I'm, I'm just going to keep going. This stress is not a problem. Um, I would rather just not lose this damage buff because it's huge. Huge. Just plus 30% straight up damage. Unparalleled Finesse is like fairly okay for that. Like it's pretty good, but I'm going to be using range skills as well. Um, yeah, none of this other stuff is looking particularly useful. That Hound's Watch, sure, doesn't, doesn't do anything right now. We don't need scouting, don't need stress relief. Yeah, yeah, we do not need to camp. Wow. What a time to be alive. We're also going to come back with very little loot. I guess maybe we will, if the fight goes well, we'll come around and explore some more of this stuff. I guess we should do that anyway, if the fight goes well. The way is lit. And we can maybe the then camp at a later clear. day. We require only the strength to follow so it's got zero dodge, zero prot. It We're going to be using our flagellant to... Um, lovely. We're going to be using our flagellant to tank a lot rage. of this damage. Uh, it is just a beast. It's not a human slash beast, so that's okay. Or sack stab. You can actually pull Wilbur in front of the Swine Prince, unless they've changed this, um, which will reduce the Swine Prince to doing nothing and Wilbur not doing anything either. Um, I believe that used to be the case, but no longer. Um, I don't know if you can do that anymore. Not that we would need to. At least at this level. Sure. Oh! Okay, a little bit steep there, but that's okay. So Wilbur always goes first, the Swine Prince usually goes last. Um, which is, you know, by design. We're just going to open Vein until it dies. Um, and that gives you time to, um, to heal the appropriate person, or you suffer, for example. Um... Or, you know, use whatever tanking skills you want to use. Before the Swine Prince attacks. He is just going to die next round. This has been this has been an anti-climax brought to you by you. But it's a level one boss. You know, it's a level one boss. It's all good. Oh, I kind of forgot about end these two. That's still fine, because it's just going to die. Yeah, I'm just going to sack stab. And then I'm going to kill it. And it's gonna die. And he's dead. Thing is even more Lovely. We do need to kill Wilbur. Death. This is important. Cannot come soon enough. If you're not familiar with this fight, Wilbur does have a stunning attack which stuns your entire party. And if you get unlucky and you're already on low health, you can kind of stun lock you till you die. You'll break out of it eventually, but if you're on low health, that might not come soon enough. Um, but I don't think he uses it as frequently anymore. I think this is one of the fights that got seriously balanced. Continue balanced the in the Colour of Madness. This is not bad. Them all. Uh, I, I... Shift click. Okay. I didn't shift click. I caps lock clicked. And caps lock is my mic mute button. So I'm very glad <laughs> that I realised what I'd done. We're going to drop the anti-venom. Um, we're actually going to drop the Jade, and we're going to take the Hellstone, we're going to carry on going. Because we are troopers. We're going to come up here, and we're going to grab this treasure, and then we're going to see what happens from there. And it's going to be pretty nice. Because I'm not ready to let this dungeon go after like nine minutes in the dungeon. That would be a cop-out. Half an hour ago, I was falling asleep on the bus. I am wide awake now. We could go torchless for a little while. When we find this treasure, we will crank the torch down before we uh, before we open. I think that's only reasonable. Only reasonable. It's gonna open vein. It's gonna open vein. Just gonna open vein. Oh, pen vein. Hi, I'm pen vein. Terrible character and even more fan fiction probably. Another abomination cleansed from our lands. I can't do like Nordic stroke terrible Russian accent, but I try. And that is all that matters. It's actually not all that matters at all. Confidence surges as the enemy crumbles. That's right. Oh, cool. Well, we got another one. We're gonna come back for this potentially. 
We're gonna come back for this after we camp. Are we just, we're just gonna backtrack now. We're gonna backtrack, we're gonna camp, we're gonna grab this curio. We do have herbs for it. We have so much food as well. Lovely, and no one's remotely stressed. We're gonna have bandit sense. An uneasy companionship. Unparalleled finesse, yeah. It's just good. Point blank shot kills most stuff anyway. Uh, scouting, not too bothered about that really. Because we already have a little bit. Ah, uh, we don't have that much scouting. We'll take release the hound. We don't need anything else right now. The match is struck. A blazing star is born. So we'll definitely take this with our highwayman. Hi, Wayman. Haha. <laughs> That's what I'd say if I was greeting my friend called Wayman. That's it. That's that's the joke. That's it. You can take it or you can leave it. But don't ever ask it to change. Obliterated. No, you can't go out. No. Because the roads are still busy. That's right. Um, I kind of want to kill these, but I do not really have an opportunity to. Well, no, we can Reign of Sorrows and then. Yeah, that's not, that's really nice. We can Reign of Sorrows, we can Hounds Rush. We need a Hounds Rush for, what is it? Yes, yeah, six. Oh, no, that's less than six. Also, I wasn't talking to you. You can go out if you want. That's fine. Don't let me tell you how to live your life. Unless you're a cat and you're my cat, in which case you can't go out. But assuming that's not the case, which seems likely, you can go out just fine. Destroyed. So uh, that was actually a nice crit, because that brings this one up to open vein range. Although I don't think it's going to make much difference anyway. Because our flagellants will kill it. Yeah, this is, this is just not a problem. This is going extremely well. Let's crank the torch down. Foolish horrors. Brought low and driven into the mud. Not bad. Do not need this food even a little bit. I would rather drop the food than the citrons at this point. And we got the scouting, thank you. Oh, yes. Well, we only need to come here. <laughs> That's going to do it, actually. Don't need to come all the way over here. Not going to, probably not going to reward me with particularly much. This is lovely. Right, so we're going to drop the shovels. We're going to drop the dog treats. We're going to drop the citron, and we're going to leave. And this is an inventory full of loot now. A fairly modest one, but an inventory nonetheless. A trifling inventory. I can't do it. I'm not even going to finish the quote. 20,000 20, K, a blasphemous vial, which is the main thing. This trinket is still good. Um, and a smattering of trinkets. Not a smorgasbord as such, but a smattering. Envy is fine, honestly. Dipsomania, I don't really know what that does, which means it's probably pretty neutral. Warren Scrander is nice. Hemophilia is awful. We're going to cure Hemophilia immediately. That's right. I see something long absent in the sunken faces of passersby. A glimmer of hope. Okay. So, uh, Sanitarium. Who are you, Jibart? Jibart and we? No. Curtis? Haemophilia, that's right. Uh, I think that was the right one. Either way, I'm curing Haemophilia on someone. Uh, Therules, Rabies, I'm not too worried about. Baznage, Bulimic, I'm not too worried about. In fact, I want to put these guys in stress relief more than anything. Figueres. Not terrible. It's not good. She's Bulimic. The fit is actually, again, not bad at all. Lacey, rabies, might be bad on a leper. We've been over this ground. I'm actually going to leave it. I'm actually going to leave it. And we're going to put some people in stress relief. So Basnard can meditate. The rule, I think, is a flagellant. Yeah. Uh, that's not too terrible. Yeah, that's actually all we're going to do for stress relief right now. Oh, yeah, we can take a Bounty Hunter and we can actually maybe use one as well, which is nice. We're going to drop drop a Shield Breaker. I, realistically, I'm not going to use a level 0 at this point. I think it's just not worth it. it. Done. But I am on the lookout Turn for a level 1 Shield Breaker. The condition of those poor devils who remain. <laughs> who is an experienced recruit. 
Um, again, one of those classes I'd like to get to grips with a little bit better, same as the Jester, same as the Bounty Hunter. Um, but we've got to take them as they come, man. I'm just taking it easy. So anyway, thank you guys for watching this relatively short episode. Um, I hope you enjoyed it, and I will see you next time.